Hey, it's James here from goodguitarist.com and welcome to 30 Days of Guitar. Today it's day three. Um, for the last couple lessons, we focused on learning a couple simple chord shapes and then we added some strumming, learning how to hold a pick, learning how to hold the guitar properly, tuning, you know, all the fundamental stuff. And today we're going to put that all to the test and learn a super simple two chord song, Horse With No Name by America. If you haven't already checked out the previous lessons where we learned the chord shapes and all the strumming stuff, please uh, take a moment now to like and subscribe. That way you'll know when all the upcoming lessons over the next 30 days are gonna be released. And uh, you know, you'll be able to stay up to date on all that and learn guitar with me from start to finish. Not start to finish, there's no finish line with guitar. Uh, anyways, um, before we jump in and try the song, let's just warm up a little bit. I wanna start with some silent switching. Just going one, two, you know, we just do it like, I don't know, three, maybe five times, 10 times, whatever you're comfortable doing. We're just switching between those two chords, between E minor and that D six, nine chord that we learned on day one. And then just brush the strings a little bit, you know, just kind of calibrate your strumming arm, make it nice and smooth. Don't hold the pick too tight. Make sure you have that nice, gentle angle and you're like brushing the strings like you have a paintbrush. And once we've warmed up a little bit with our chord hand and with our strumming hand, before we play the song, I wanna go over a really important concept and that is tapping your foot to keep the, the rhythm. First, we're gonna count one, two, three, four, and we're just gonna tap our foot every time we count like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's simple enough. That's something that, you know, it may seem super easy for some people, but some people need to work on it, you know, um, especially once you start adding all the other stuff like chord switching, you know, you'll find really quickly that your foot stops moving. So, you know, let's just start at the most basic level, get used to counting and tapping our foot. Then we can mute the strings by lightly touching them with our chord hand. And that way, you know, we get a percussive sound instead of like the open strings. That kind of bugs me, you know, strumming open strings. So we mute them and then we strum them and we tap our foot at the same time. So every time I do a downstroke, my foot is doing a downstroke too, so to speak. You know, my foot goes down the same time my hand goes down. And we could count while we do that. One, two, three, four. One, two. From there, we can start to add some chord shapes to it. We can go one, tap, 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 one, tap, tap, tap. So that's round one of the chord switching game where we strum on beat one, but now we're gonna make sure that we tap our, our foot on beat one, but also on beats two, three, and four as we make that switch. And you might have to take your time and go through the motions with this at your own pace, just going one. So when you do that, you tap your foot and you strum at the same time. One, tap, tap, tap. And as you're tapping, you're also switching that chord. That's the little bit of, uh, of motor control that we're trying to develop right now. You know, and then you're on the next chord. One, tap, tap, tap. You know, you tap as you make that chord shape. And you go through that at your own pace, taking as much time as you need to until eventually you can go one, tap, 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 one, tap, tap, tap. And that's where I'm gonna stop for today uh, as far as tapping our foot is concerned. We're gonna revisit it in the future, but I think that that is the most critical exercise, you know, going starting with just counting and then with strumming the muted strings and then with doing the first round of the chord switching game, you know, just to kind of build up the challenge just one little piece at a time. With that out of the way, let's learn our song here. In order to make this sound like the song, we're going to make one little change to it. Up until now, we've been strumming four downstrokes per chord shape. One, two, three, four, one. Well, we're still going to be making a downstroke motion, but we're going to do a tiny downstroke for beat one. So instead of strumming all the strings, we're just going to do a little downstroke 
I call that a root strum. I put an R there because we're hitting the roots of the chord shape, like the foundation of it. The, the low notes of the chord are the root of the chord. So we do a root strum, and then on beat two, a regular strum. On beat three, a root strum, and on beat four, a regular strum. And you might be like, hey, how come we're not doing upstrokes and all that? And I feel it's more important to capture the feeling of the song, to really get the essence of it, than it is to, you know, add upstrokes and all that. That's going to come. We are going to do that. But I think this is an important first step that if you overlook it, it's going to do more harm than good, right? So our pattern goes one, two, three, four. So little strum, big strum, little strum, big strum. You know, you're kind of just going between those two motions. And we're going to do that pattern one time per chord shape. Our strumming pattern takes up four beats, and we're switching chords every four beats. That lines up perfectly. So on E minor, one, two, three, four, switch. 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 And if this is too much, I wouldn't blame you. You know, everybody learns at their own pace. And for a lot of people, we've covered a lot of ground in this past three days. I recommend going back to the beginning and taking your time with every little thing, figuring out where you are having that trouble. Maybe the switch is too quick for you, in which case you want to go through the chord switching game over and over again. You know, what I'm going to show you in these next 30 days, or I guess the next 27 days, plus the three that we already did, some people spend like a year or two doing it and that's totally fine because they end up being able to play guitar some people can follow along in 30 days i really don't i can't tell you what like the average person can do i just know every student is unique and you know you have to take your journey your own way and that's why i have my beginner course because that is designed with exactly that philosophy in mind you take it at your own pace and you know if you subscribe and all that stuff you can watch this whenever you want too so take your time so let's play some of the song now with some singing. I'm just reading the lyrics off my phone, so forgive me if uh, if I mess them up. I'm not a, a singer myself, but you know it is fun to do regardless. And we're just gonna start off with a we're just gonna go E minor and D a couple times, and then we'll start the singing. One, two, three, four. On the first part of the journey. I was looking at all the light There were plants and birds And rocks and things There was sand and hills and rings The first thing I met Was a fly with a buzz And the sky with no clouds The heat was hot and the ground was dry but the air was full of sound I've been through the desert on a horse with no name Felt good to be out of You can't remember your name Cause there ain't no one for to give you no pain La 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 And the 
the story it told of a river that flowed made me sad to think it was dead you see I've been through the desert on a horse with no name it felt good to be out of the rain in the desert you can't remember your name Cause there ain't no one for to give you no pain La 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 La, la. All right, so that's everything for today. Don't forget to take as much time as you need with this, you know, and, and review, review, review. When it comes to tapping your foot, remember to go in those steps. First, just counting as you tap, then with the muted strokes and then with the first round of the chord switching game. If you need you know, some written stuff to go with, I have my free eBooks completely free for all my subscribers and it goes over you know, so much of my method for, uh, you know, so you'll, you'll be able to read ahead and go at your own pace and, and, and review and do all that. There's a link in the corner as well as down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I also have my complete beginner's course if you want uh, the, the really thorough experience, just going through every single step Otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you tomorrow.